Hi everybody, today I am working on coasters and I pre-mixed a resin. Oh, sorry about the noise. My heater is running in the background, so it's very loud. Anyway, I am pouring the resin into my little cups. The colors I am using are dark blue, which is like a metallic dark blue. I am using an ocean blue and gold with white. That's four colors. This is the ocean blue. It is by Resin Obsession. And it just takes me a minute to mix it up. Now this is my gold. It's a metallic gold. It's called mica powder. It is very shimmery and I get it from Black Diamond. That's the company who makes it. Love their colors. Now I'm mixing in the metallic blue. It's like a dark purpley blue. So now I'm going to mix up my white. It is from Black Diamond. Um, it is a mica color, mica powder. Oh, did you ever have that happen? Oh my gosh. That went everywhere. So whenever you use the mica powder, make sure you always have a face mask on. In the video, you can't see the little particles flying all over the room, but they really do, so be very careful. Also, make sure you mix it really good, because if you don't mix it correctly, you will end up with little lumps of color in your resin, and it's not good when that happens. Okay, right now I just got some dark blue color and I am putting it on my board wherever I think it would look good. And this is fun because you could be really creative. You can put it wherever you want, how much you want, as little or as much as you want. I feel like a little kid sometimes when I'm making these paintings. Okay, so I know in the video it looks like the same blue, but it's actually an ocean blue that I am applying right now. It's a really pretty light blue. Love this color. I think it's one of my favorite colors other than gold.
Now I'm applying the gold and just putting it on wherever I think that would look good. And then I'm going to move on to the white. So unfortunately I ran out of white, so I have to make more and I got a little cup this time so I don't run out in the middle of the video. These coasters are so quick and easy to make and they're so much fun. You guys really got to try it. So right now I am grabbing the torch and I am heating them up and I will move them around a little bit to give it the 3D effect. It blends the colors on top of each other and it, it just such an awesome look to it. Also when I use the torch I am actually popping those little bubbles that come to the surface. You definitely want to get rid of those. when. Your resin cures and they're still there, you get like a almost like a rough textured surface. So, you definitely want to um, heat your resin up, torch it, or use a heat gun, even a blow dryer. But you need to get rid of those little bubbles. Right now I'm just moving the uh, coasters around to um, pull the different colors out that I like. You don't have to do this, you can leave them the way they are, it's just something I prefer. Oh, I don't know what happened there, my camera went black, sorry about that. I'm always having issues, I swear one of these days I'm going to get this YouTube thing down right. Okay, so now I'm gonna give it a little bit of a torch because I moved the resin around. And then when, sometimes when that happens, you can get those little bubbles back. So I'm just torching it up to make sure they don't come back. So I am adding more color to a few of these just because I added too much white and the white kind of took over.
Okay, one more time with the torch, and then I'll be done. Once I'm done torching, I will take the camera down to give you guys a close-up view of them. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring that little bell, that way you get notifications on my next video coming up. Thanks again for watching. Till the next time.